OK, so let's say we've got a normal distribution, but we don't know the mean and the standard deviation. But we're given two bits of information from which, hopefully, we can figure them out. So we're told that the probability of x being less than 20 is 0.3. So there's a 30% chance that x is less than 20. And there is a 20% chance that x is greater than 50. OK, so what we want to do is we want to draw a diagram to represent this. So let's draw a normal distribution. So there's our mu. We don't know that. But we know that 30% uh, is less than 20. So there is this figure 20 where this is 30%. And we also know that 20% are larger than 50. So there is my 20%, which is larger than 50. So from those two bits of information, hopefully I can figure out the uh, mu and sigma. Now for this, we need to have the z equals x minus mu over sigma formula ready. OK, so the z value that we find is going to be the inverse norm here. But because we don't know the mean and the standard deviation, we can't directly go to the inverse norm and just type in our mean and standard deviation and the area. So we need to work from the standard normal and utilize this equation. So let's have a look at this first bit. 30% is less than 20. So what I can do is I can look up the inverse norm of 0.3. So on my calculator, I'm going to go to menu number 7, and then inverse normal, number 3. The area is 0 0.3. The standard deviation needs to be 1, and the mean needs to be 0. I'm looking at the standard normal here. And I get minus 0.5244. I'll round it to four decimal places. That is your z value. OK, so we have, therefore, minus 0.5244, that's my z value, is equal to the x value, which I know is 20, take away the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So what I can do is I can rearrange that, multiply by the sigma, add the mu, so I get mu uh, take away 0.5244 sigma is equal to 20. And this will be equation number one. Now I'm going to utilize the second bit of information. So I'm told that 20% are larger than 50. It is equivalent to say that 80% will be less than 50. So remember that the area only looks at less than. So I'm going to inverse norm 0 0.8 to look at 80% being less. So when I go on to inverse norm 0 0.8 as the area, sigma is still 1, mu is 0, I get 0 0.8416 to four decimal places. This is the z value in our formula. So therefore, 0 0.8416 is equal to the x value, 50, take away the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So multiplying up by the sigma, adding the mu to both sides, we get mu plus 0.8416 uh, sigma is 50. And there is equation 2. So I now have two simultaneous equations with two unknowns. OK? Now you can use tried and trusted, uh, tried and tested um, algebraic method here to solve those simultaneous equations. But remember, your calculator can do that for you. Um, you will be expected to be able to use your calculator to do this in the exam. So go to menu and then equation function, so A. We want simultaneous equations, so number one. Uh, we want two unknowns because we've got the mu and the sigma. Now it's going to it's going to read it off as x and y. So we need to make sure we get this around the right way. I'll take the mu as x and the sigma as y. So I've got one lot of x take away, so minus 0 0.5244 y. And then I've got equals 20. Then I've got 1x uh, plus 0 0.8416y equals 50. 
So the x that I get, the mu, is 31.5 to three significant figures. And the sigma, uh, the y, is 21.96, so 22.0 to three sig fig. Okay? So there is my uh, mu and sigma that solve the original problem allowing for these two bits information.